r slash r scredit by redmond dtes what's a job that's romanticized but in reality sucks i strongly suspect being a spy doesn't involve half as many high-tech gadgets and spontaneous sexual intercourse as i've been lead to believe edit thanks for all the awards and wow the way my inbox just blew up you'd think i'd started an only fans one former member of the CIA said the most unbelievable thing about James Bond was that he never had to file an expense report. Anything in modern day publishing. How many television shows and movies must I watch where the plucky young upstart graduates from college and gets a job at the magazine or newspaper of their choice and is respected and can make a living? The pay sucks. You're in constant danger of being laid off when your pub folds, usually, and it's usually a pretty corporate environment where you're tasked with multiple jobs for little hope of advancement. The names high up on the mastheads are usually those of rich people, and it's because they started off rich and could afford to stay in the industry. From what I've understood, being a cowboy was, is, really awful. Game tester. I worked as a game tester for EA for almost 3 years. Here's what it's like. Imagine a game type you don't like. Maybe soccer games. Maybe an RTS. Whatever. You now play that game. 8 hours a day. But you don't play it. You test it. So let's imagine an RTS. You are told to test the resource acquisition systems. All you do is click around and make sure your guys can mine gold and harvest lumber. You click around the map and mine in forest. There is no combat, they've turned that off for your testing. There is no story, because you just flick from level to level to test the resource system. You test using one guy. You test in using 100 guys. You make sure no other units can gather resources. You try blocking your own guys. You try killing your own guys. 8 hours a day. Every day. For weeks. You enter dozens of bugs. They put out a patch that fixes the bugs. You have to retest every level and every bug to make sure they're all fixed. That's game testing. Working on a film. If you're a crew, it sucks. Long long hours for what seemed like very very slow progress on the picture, lots of standing around waiting, etc. You arrive well before everyone else and leave after everyone else. If this is an indie production you also may have to beg or chase down for your pay at the end of each week. Oh and when the film wraps, you are now unemployed. Being a therapist. Too many people I've met get into the field thinking it's how they saw it on TV. Affluent white collar, own office, warm slow pace environment, where you get to sit on a nice comfy couch and be like, let's talk about your feelings. That's only if you get to private practice, which they don't tell you is also like running your own small business, which good luck is you have no business acumen. The reality is you get out of grad school, get your first job working at a community mental health facility because they are the only ones who will hire you with a limited license and no experience, getting paid less than 40 grand a year if you're lucky, and then get put in a walk-in closet of an office, where they dump a hundred client caseload on you the first day, followed by your first client who has five different diagnoses and is on 12 different psych meds who says to you, F you. You're my 7th different person I've had here, nobody cares about me. Yeah people go into a hundred grand of debt for that. Edit, I'm a therapist myself, I love what I do, but it takes years to get past all the shitty parts of the field to find your place in the field. Needless to say, too many don't survive the baptism by fire I mentioned above and either become burnt out, jaded, or leave the field altogether. Archaeologist specifically field archaeology. 99% of the time you find absolutely nothing, it's often physically demanding, sometimes grueling, the pay is crap, there are no benefits, you have to constantly travel, there's very little stability, I could go on. Source, have worked in CRM, cultural resource management, archaeology for several years now. Edit, holy crap this blew up, just wanna stay in spite of all the BS of this field, still love being an archaeologist and don't really wanna do anything else for a living, but I can't universally recommend this job to everyone in good faith. <laughs> Lawyer. Number of historic, life changing, precedent setting cases participated in. Zero. Number of angry, 
self-entitled, abusive clients wanting to screw each other over. 842. Number of pages of paperwork that sucked up free time and social life. 84,836. Everyone used to think it was awesome that I worked in live sports TV. 70% of the people I worked with were miserable pricks with overinflated egos, and then there were the athletes. I knew several people that worked at my local TV station. They all basically said, I got 5 minutes of training, and then I was editing the live news with no other instruction beyond, if you screw up, you're fired. Apparently the turnover rate, both voluntary and otherwise, was brutal. Apparently lifeguard, because nobody can find them anymore. Hey man, want to be responsible for a ton of lives for minimum wage in the hot sun? You're also going to be mistaken for a babysitter, mocked for trying to create a safe environment, and pressured to cover your unreliable co-workers shifts. Where do I sign up? Used to work as a lifeguard, most boring job in my life. Worked at an indoor pool year round, just watching people. Even if you only worked 4 hours it felt like an eternity. Really bad if you were the only worker there as you were screwed if you need to use the bathroom. Happened once and had to shut the pool down because no other lifeguard was there and no relief. Worked as a guard for like 5 years and never had to save anyone thankfully. Most action I had to deal with was cleaning up poop from the pool or kicking people out for repeated violations. Got paid 7.25 to start 7.55 at the end. Got a gym membership out of it for free though, but one wrong move and you can get sued for more than you would ever make there. Anything that requires a lot of travel. Sounds glamorous but in reality all you see usually an airport, conference room, boring hotel room and maybe a restaurant if you are lucky. It's exhausting and it actually just sucks. Architect. You think you'll be designing big fancy iconic buildings. Warehouses, warmets, strip malls, and crap box apartments all need architects and that's probably what you'll end up doing. Chef or cook. Crap pay. Toxic work environment. Crappy hot working conditions. Megalomaniac incompetent management and owners. Long crappy hours. Working every weekend and every holiday. The only people you will see regularly are your co-workers. And most people descend into alcoholism or drug abuse to cope. Most people get into it because they are passionate about it, and most bosses will take advantage of this. I spent 10 years in this field. I walked away with nothing other than the knowledge I gained, then had to re-enter to workforce at the bottom at the age of 30. Been out 5 years now, and started making more money and working less hours within a year. I wish I'd left sooner. Teacher. Fantasy. I ma change the world one student at a time. Reality. Poor paying zoo. Teacher here. If you think you are going to pull an air in gruel and change the world, you will burn out and drop out. If you like sharing your subject and enjoy the little victories, it's a great gig. I love it. I also know which students to really focus on and have determined that I won't break my back for students and parents that are apathetic. I also recognize that history isn't everyone's thing so if I can drill down a few important concepts, good enough. Also, crappy parents. Actor actress. Most don't make it big and many have very short career spans, then fade into obscurity. Musician. Show up at club at 5 p.m., or earlier, unload, set up, mic check, wait hours for show to start, get crappy bar food or local fast food, play to half empty room, tear down, load in two vehicles, hopefully get paid enough to cover expenses, leave club 2-3 a.m., covered in sweat and physically exhausted, either drive to another location or crappy hotel, lather, rinse and repeat. It's a grind for 99% of the musicians out there. My god I miss it though. Pilot. You are essentially a bus driver with a really expensive bus. Except the bus drivers I knew made better money with city benefits and a pension. Oldie but true. What's the difference between a pilot and an extra large pizza? An extra large pizza can feed a family of four. Doctor. Fantasy. I make lots of money. Everyone respects me. Reality. 
I watch people die every day, work exhausting 12 hour shifts, have crippling depression and multiple addictions. I feel like YouTuber would be one. Most who try fail, some who out multiple videos a day with hours of work for each one to never be recognized, and the ones who do now have to maintain relevance and, depending on who they are, have bigger workloads. I'm not saying it wouldn't be worth it, but it's not as simple as press record and publish. That's all folks. Thank you for watching. If you like videos like this one, why not like and subscribe for more? Have a nice evening.